File history backs up versions of your files in the documents, music, pictures, videos, desktop folders and OneDrive files in regular intervals locally, hence making them available offline on your PC. With this built-in Windows option, over time you will have a complete history of your files. So if the original files are lost, damaged or deleted, you may be able to restore them using the file history. You can also browse and restore different versions of your files. For example, if you want to restore an older version of a file, even if it wasn't deleted or lost, you can browse through a timeline, select the version you want and restore it. For example, you have made an error on one of your files and you have saved it and you would like to get the previous version, depending on you, uh, you know, when the file history has been turned on and when it was backed up automatically, you may be able to restore to that previous version. By default, Microsoft Windows has file history turned off. So when you purchase a Microsoft Windows computer or when you first install Microsoft Windows 11 or 10, for example, it will be turned off by default. Before you start using the file history to back up your files, you need to first select where your backups are saved. You can save to an externally connected drive such as a USB drive or you can save to a drive on a network or you can save uh, to a drive uh, within your computer itself. So it has to be a secondary hard drive that is connected to your computer. In this demonstration, we will be using another hard drive installed on this Windows 11 computer. And the first thing we need to do is to just plug it in that secondary hard drive. And then we're gonna go into the start menu, go to disk partition. So we're gonna go to the option called create and format hard disk partitions. So you can type on search disk partitions and it'll pop up here. And in here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select one of my secondary hard drive and I'm gonna bring that online. To do that, you can right click here and click online. And then I'm gonna allocate that hard drive and assign a drive letter. On this space, right click, select new simple volume, click next, next, and I'm gonna assign the drive letter F and I'm gonna keep all of these as default and I'm gonna call this thing backup drive, just because it's easy for me to, uh, you know, figure out where what it is and then click next and finish. So now we have an extra drive in here. So now we have that, next thing what we're gonna do is to go to file history and turn that option on. To do that, go to the start, type control panel, open the control panel and in here you may have the option on uh, here like this as category you can change that on the top corner view by category to uh, small icons and in here you will see an option called the file history right here the file history so control panel change the view to small icons and select file history once you open the file history, you will see that additional drive, the backup drive F. So if you forgot to do that, or you don't have a secondary drive on your device installed or a USB drive plugged in, you will not have this option available. You won't be able to turn on the file history. So keep that in mind. So next we're gonna do is to turn on the file history. Now, if you have multiple drives or you would like to uh, you know, use a network drive, you can go to select drive here. And if you have a network drive connected to your device or other devices that you are connected, that would appear under this select a file history drive options. So if you have multiple drives, you have the ability to select the drive from here. We have only one drive, so we're gonna select this one and I'm gonna click turn on. And now the file history has been turned on in here. Next thing we can do is 
change some configuration options so that you have the best possible scenario for your use case. To do that, you can go to the advanced settings from the left hand side. And in here, you can select how often the file will be saved. For here, we have the option called every hour by default, but you can change it to every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, hour, every three hour, etc., or daily. So there are multiple options you can select here. By default, it is set to every hour. So what that means is every hour, your folders and files gonna be backed up by the file history program. And you can also select how long the previous version will be kept. So in here it is selected as forever, but you can uh, select whatever the option you like until the space is needed or one month, two months, one year, for etc. etc. So by default it is forever. Uh, I uh, put it into until the space is needed. So whenever it runs out of space, it will start deleting those files. And you also can do a cleanup uh, uh, of versions right here. Uh, and then you can select the cleanup once you have the file history going. So what this is gonna do is that if you have way too much file history and you're taking up so much space on that your secondary drive or the USB drive or network drive, you can select this clean up versions option and then purge all of them, basically delete all the previous versions. So the next thing I'm gonna show you uh, is to how to run the file history by manually. To do that, if I go back to the file history main screen, right here under the control panel, uh, file history options, you can select this one called run now. So if I click on this, run now, so it will be running and then it says, yeah, it has run and the last time copied is just now. See, 730 name, 730 name. So now the file history has been run by us by manually. So now those copies will be saved to that F drive. Now, how do you actually use file history in your daily life, right? So how you can do it is if I go into a, for example, the Microsoft Windows Explorer, and if I go to my documents and I have a folder called testing and I have a bunch of files in here. In this folder, if I right click and if I go to properties and if I go to previous versions, now I have those previous versions available. If you don't have this file history turned on, the previous versions options will not be available to you because it, there won't be any previous versions available. And if you want to restore something from here, you can restore uh, based on here. So I will show you an example of that. So if I go to the testing and if I create a new file, so it's a text document, it's called test document. And now I have one and then I'm going to run this again. So now if I go to testing, if I check here, if I go to previous version, now I have two previous versions. But just for fun, I'm going into that testing folder and I'm going to delete this file. And I'm going to delete from the recycle bin as well. So now the test file is gone. So you have accidentally deleted, including from the recycle bin, and now you need to get that thing back, right? So it's very simple. You go back to that testing folder, right click, go to properties, go to previous versions, and you can see that we have ran previous version uh, recently. So for example, right here. So we can click on that, and then we can say uh, restore. And we're gonna say, hey, they're gonna give you a um, um, warning saying four items will be replaced. And if you want to replace it, you can replace those all the files or you can skip those files as well. So you don't need to restore every single file in that folder. You can just restore one of those files. So if you wanna restore every single file, that's fine as well. So I'm gonna replace all those files and then it's done. So now the testing folder has been restored and we have the text file back again. So if I close this, even if I go right here, you see the test file is right here again. You can also follow the same instructions for your Windows 10 device. It is the same options, go to control panel. Uh, then you have to go into the 
options called the file history and just make sure that you have a hard drive or a device that can do the file history and then you can set up the options the exactly the same way for Windows 10 as well as the Windows 7 and 8 as well. It's the same, same options for all of those Windows versions. The file history system or the program requires a two types of services that needed to be uh, turned on on your device. By default, typically they are turned on, but it may be turned off because of whatever the changes you have made to your operating system. Those services are the file history service and the Windows search services. If you don't have those two options turned on, what's going to happen is you won't be able to turn on the file history. You will get an error message or you will have that file history options uh, grayed out. So if you go to like, for example, if you have everything if you have the device and everything set up but when you go to the file history if this turn on feature like if i turn this thing off and if the turn on button is grayed out right here that means basically that um, is caused by because of some of the services are not running so you can uh, fix that to do that what you need to do is go to the start menu and type run and in here, in this run window, uh, if uh, you have that error, what you need to do is to enter services dot msc. So services dot msc, and click OK. And that will open the services menu. Sorry, services uh, program. In this services program, uh, if you go down this list of services listed here you will find the option uh, call the file history services. So this is a long list. So you can click on the very top one and click F and it'll go to the F, um, you know, everything listed under F. So what I did here is basically you, you are at the very top, you select the very first one and click F on your keyboard and it'll go to the F section. So in here, this service, the file history service, this has to be turned on. So you can click on the file history service and in this service under startup type it must have either automatic or automatic delay start it should not be in manual or disable if it is in manual and disable make sure it is in automatic delay start or automatic by default right now i have it at the automatic delay start so i'm going to leave it that way and the other one is the windows search so again i'm going to click on here and click on w and if you go down on this list right here it says windows search double click on that make sure it is either under automatic or automatic delay start if you have any of these items either the windows search or uh, the other option that i showed you the file history uh, or service uh, under you know selected to disable then what we did uh, there would not work so but it, in order to turn on your file history services on your um, Windows 11 or Windows 10 devices, you need to make sure these services are turned on. Again, by default, these are turned on, but if you get an error message or when you get to your control panel, that uh, option is grayed out in here, uh, like you can press this button as turn on, uh, that may be the reason why it is causing that problem. So that's everything for today. If you like these type of videos, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, good luck and have a nice day.